Hey there everyone, Irizini here, and welcome to my newest Eerie Plays, FTL, Faster Than Light. I had another round of votes going on just the other day, as of recording, just to make sure you know that. And I had a very, very interesting turnout. I The only thing that I did not allow to be voted on was the ship, because I wanted to test this to see how well it would work. So I personally chose the ship, everything else was pretty much voted for for by you guys. So, let's start a new game. I will cancel my new game because I was testing some out. So, instead of going with the Kestrel, I actually have all the ships unlocked. So, I'm going with the Federation Cruiser Type A. Now, first things first, let me do some rearranging of my crew. Because this is not Johnny, this is Emil. As in Chuck Conroy. Our little mantis. Uh, let's go with the. Let's go with this one. This one is Msei, as voted for. Let's spell Msei correctly. Except our rock man, which I'm gonna see if I can go with this one, is actually John, as in Proton John, because that was voted in. And last but not least, these can't be changed. This is not a woman, this is instead Shulk. I find the the terrific irony is that both times I started a new airy plays, I've had Emil, John, Shulk, and some female. <laughs> Anyways, I am gonna keep their positions like this for now. So if things change, things might change. In terms of positioning, I will keep the advanced edition content enabled and set it to easy because I am terrible at this game. Let's put it that way. So, I also had the ship renamed to the SS Runaway. As in, the Runaway Guys! Woohoo, except we're missing Tim. Anyways, let's get going. Start. The data you carry is vital to the remaining Federation fleet. You'll need supplies for the journey, so make sure to explore each sector before moving on to the next. But get to the exit before the pursuing rebel fleet can catch you. Tip, system damage. When a system fully breaks due to fire or borders, the hull also takes one damage. Continue. Alright, let's see here. I'll take it that most of you might not actually know what FTL is. It is a roguelike dungeon crawler thing. Not really sure what to call it. And you have this ship that you had to pilot. The only thing that takes place within real time is your battles, but you can just hit space to pause things. Which is very, very convenient. Otherwise, it's pretty normal. Your crew can level up based upon their positions. So as John stays here, he'll gain more weapon skill. With Shulk, he'll gain more shield, and Masei will gain more engine, and Emil will be more of a pilot. You can man people into your doors and your security cameras to help boost those because those are subsystems and it takes it's better when there's people there this particular ship has an extra weapon which is a artillery beam so it'll automatically fire you can't aim it um, and then I automatically start with the burst laser I'm gonna automatically put that there turn off my med bay and put it in engines because I don't I, I don't need the med bay right now also I'm gonna save these crew positions in case I have to move someone to Let's say there's a fire right here. John is fireproof, so I could just move him there. He moves pretty slowly, but eh, what are you gonna do? He's fireproof. Anyways, let's get going. All these maps are randomized, so I don't ever know what I'm getting. Let's see here. Let me plan out my route. Um, go up here, there, and jiggy on up. <laughs> I like how I say the weirdest things, and nobody really cares. Um. Scans reveal a large asteroid field nearby. Short-range scanners may discover useful materials while we wait for the FTL to recharge. Explore the asteroid or too dangerous. We'll wait for the FTL charge. Now, unfortunately, I'm not going to have these decisions be voter-based, but towards the end of an episode, if there is a decision I have, I will make that voter-based. If I can. So, um, let's explore. Yay, I found some fuel. That's good. Fuel is good. Always need fuel. That's one thing I tend to run low on. That and missiles. Yeesh. Um, small, all rebel ship nearby seems to be refitted for transport rather than comet. Uh, Durand the Cemender. Dur Durand the Cemen? I don't know. Demand the surrender of their goods. Now, combat. I'm going to sometimes... Oh, they have one of those thingies. 
Um, so, but the deal is, is that I want to aim for their engines, because that'll keep them from leaving. This will automatically fire, so let's just hope for the best, because these guys aren't really going to be able to push my shields, I don't think. But I'm not actually not quite sure on that one. Nah, they're not going to be able to do anything to me. Okay, so I got one hit on their sh their engine. That's not enough to do anything. If their shields, if shield, I'm so used to saying shield. If their engine is down, they can't move. So, oop. I need to turn auto fire on. Whoops, because I I don't pay enough attention sometimes to what's going on. Uh, come on, fire faster, you. 50 second cooldown. Yeesh. That's a long time. Come on. Oh, come on! Really? They're gonna probably get away. Dang it! At least it wasn't one of those ones that if they jump, the 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 rebel gets a little faster. Um, I'm gonna upgrade that, just because I need that to work a little bit faster. Uh, okay. So, this is the pursuing rebel line. If they catch you, like if you're caught in their red area, you have to fight something really hard for for your standard. So, it's best not to get in there. Okay. It's too late to avoid a fight. Uh-oh. Okay, so they have a beam and that. So that that beam could potentially be painful. Okay, let's go. <sighs> Come on. My, my shields recharge a little bit faster if someone's manning them. I have a bit more evasion if someone's in engines. Ow! Ow. Okay, I'm gonna have to risk... Shulk leaving because Shulk can repair things pretty fast compared to Masei who is more fit for combat. Okay, come on. Okay, so their weapons are down. Engines back up. Oops, I didn't mean to do that. Shulk, get back to your position, please. And their beam's up, but that's not gonna do much. Um, I'm gonna try asphyxiating him, because that's something I like to do. Because I'm evil. Actually, there was one ship that most of my victories were through asphyxiation. <laughs> it was fun. I'll just tell you that. Asphyxiating your enemies is quite fun. Okay, so their FTL's charging. They're slowly dying. And shoot. Come on. Come on, just need one more hit. Come on. Dang it! That would've worked too! Come on! Uh, having one weapon is very, very bad. Um, Mind a moon. Okay. What I'm gonna do is shift to that. Because I... Ooh, store. I don't have anything... Eh! See, this is already a bad start. Um... Hmm. Be nice to have money, but... Uh, gonna have to... Okay, so... Let's go through here. We'll see what happens there. Um... I'm gonna fight you because I need money! Okay, so an ion... Oh. Is that what Q does? Oh, it just likes everyone. Oh, I didn't know what Q ever did. Weapons. Okay, Shulk, you're needed here. Ow, there's fire. Uh, John, get, get your button there. You can put out fires, your fire button. Shulk here, who is pretty useless. Okay, you can go in there and repair. Oh, they took out... <sighs> okay, back to your positions. Not that it's gonna do- ow. Oxygen. Oxygen is needed. Um, I'll take it. I'll take your- I'll take your money. Because I kind of need it. Um, she'll get in there because you can heal things pretty quick. There we go. I- I don't know why I keep hitting that button, but... <laughs> it's not doing me any good. No! Come! Um, hit this button so they'll stay. 
Yeesh. Ooh, another store. It's a little risky, but I'll do it. Because... I don't know why. Hmm. Oh yeah, another thing is that I can buy crew members. If I ever manage to scrounge up enough money, I will occasionally try and buy a crew member, and then I'll have you guys name them, okay? Uh, anyways, uh, there's not really much I can do here. I can buy two things of fuel, or I can fix my ship. Hmm. Fixing the ship is more of a priority. Okay. This is not the plan I wanted to go, but I'll take it. Okay. I'm not surrendering my crew! I don't want to surrender my crew. Surrendering my crew is bad. Ooh, they have an eye on stunner. Ouch. That's not good. Anyways, let's see what this battle has for us. Because hopefully I can get some stuff done. Okay. Ooh! I will take you, you little guy. Okay, Vincent. Vincent is also a mantis, much like Massey. Um, Vincent? For now, I'll call you that. You're gonna be my doorman. Because, just in case we get borders, we might need you. Because having someone on borders makes it automatically level 2. Okay. So, there we go. So, mark that down that I need to have you guys rename Vincent. Anyways, let's see here. I can make one more jump and then head to the exit. That sounds like a good idea. Intervene to defend, defend the outpost. That's what I always do. I never read. <laughs> I'm, unless it decides to escape, I'm just gonna let my laser do the job because... Because this thing has no way of hurting me if it's just double laser. Unless I turn on my shield. <laughs> Why would I do that? Uh, one damage beam that pierces all shields. So, let's just see what happens for a bit. This may be a little boring, but I just like watching this because they can't hurt me. <laughs> my shield! My one shield is just enough to, to keep me alive. Yay. <laughs> hmm. Hmm. There we go. <laughs> she <laughs> just hit everything with a single beam. Nothing works on their ship anymore. Ah. <laughs> okay. Enough fun. Let's just end them. Bye bye. That was fun. Okay. Yay, they gave me more stuff. I I stopped reading after a while. I'll, uh, no, not worth it. I just need to get to the exit. Okay. Arrived at the long range beacon. When the FTL drive is charged, you can jump to the next sector. Uh, let's see if someone will. Nope, I accidentally spoke to the wrong person. Ooh, they have a hack. Don't hack my engines. Okay, I'd rather it be engines than weapons, but I am gonna take out their hacking drone. Because I don't like hacking drones. Oh, good thing that missed. Okay. Dealt with that. Let's, uh... Let's take out their weapon, because that might prove dangerous after a bit. Okay, that missed. That only shoots one, so that's fine. There we go! Haha! took that out before it had a chance to fire. And my my beam should take care of the rest. I'm just gonna sit here and wait and watch. <laughs> I love this music. Ooh, stealth weapons! If only I had a cloak! <laughs> but it did give me some stuff. That's not bad. I will always take more stuff, and I will... Hmm. Hmm. I will upgrade a power bar and get more in cameras. That way I can have my engines going, and we're all good to go. Anyways, I want to check my star map to the next sector. Okay. Ooh, abandoned sector. Okay. This is the second thing I'll have you guys mostly vote on, is where I go on this map. Generally, I go with the route that'll take me through the most green areas, because those are civilian. But red areas do provide a little bit more experience at the cost of being risky. And then nebulas are very hard to navigate, because there are areas that will knock out half your power and you have to figure out what the heck you need to keep on. 
So, anyway, I've been Aerie, and we'll see you next time. Bye!